Diego. Yes. Papa. Yes, Morgan. I visited the old house. What? I told you to stay away from there. I thought I had been clear about that. But you also said I had to use my initiative. It is not a subject for debate. Stay away. Should I make it a formal order? Mama died years ago. You've got to put it behind you. Enough! Do you want me to clap you in irons? You're the bravest captain and the best father possible, yet you fear confronting this. Mama isn't coming back. Do you think I don't know that? There isn't a day. Captain, what's going on? Ah, get out, both of you. Why on earth did you interrupt Papa and me? It was just as well that I did. You sounded like you were gonna kill each other. He was really close to talking about Mama. Ow. Oh, yes, ow. Oh. Now he'll be on his guard if I try again. Still, you made progress this time. Yes, yes I did. But it's still taking too long. I agree. It's eating away at the captain like a festering sore. If I could just get him to the old house. Uh, maybe I could carry him in his sleep. <laughs> As if that would work. Wait, if he was in a sleep he wouldn't wake from, then you could. Some kind of sleeping draw. Perhaps. I'll give it some thought. But it needs to be subtle or he'll realize. What about the sleepy fly? A bite from it will put a person to sleep for a couple of hours. I've never heard of a sleepy fly. What does it look like? Uh, I don't know. I've never seen one. Mama would have known. She used to love reading about plants and flowers, even insects. I remember. She had quite a collection of books in your house. Diego? Yes? I've never heard of a sleepy fly. What does it look like? Uh, I don't know. I've never seen one. <gasps> Mama would have known. She used to love reading about plants and flowers, even insects. I remember. She had quite a collection of books in your house. Papa? Yes, Morgan? Can I have another doubloon, please? Very well. Papa, you must come with me to the old house. It's Mama. Now you're taunting me. Do you not care about your father's feelings? Of course. That's exactly why it's important for you to come. You handled that well, Morgane. Where do you want to go? Excuse me. Yes? I'll ask the innkeeper if I want anything. Excuse me. Yes? I need to deal with some guards. You'll get into trouble with the authorities if you confront the town guard. Not the town guard. Hillary Simpkins' men. He still owes me money. Can't you knock the men out? Perhaps. Do you sell any strong alcohol? Yes. Some very strong rum. Couple of mouthfuls and you'd be drunk. Most people use it to clean their kitchen range or unblock the privy. Perfect. I'll take it. It's five doubloons for a small barrel. Here's the money. 
Thank you. Hello, Manuel. Hello, Morgan. Hurry! We've been delayed enough as it is. Indeed. Manuel, we're ready for you to drive us up to Signor Brisco's house. Yes, Morgan. He's really concerned about Elizabeth. Senor Brisco? Yes, Captain? The house looks completely closed up. Which is the best way in? There's only one way in, through the front door. I wonder why there's a bell here. We used to use it to call the children in for dinner. Won't that alert them to our presence? Oops, you're right. The guards look like they'll shoot if we try to approach them. The guards look like they'll shoot if we try to approach them. I'm not going near them while there's a good chance I'll be shot. give it to him directly, but I can put it near them. I need to find a way to catch the guard's attention so they discover the barrel. That's a stupid idea. Senor Brisco? Yes, Captain? What's that noise? Hey, look at this. That's a rum barrel we got here. We should check it. Make sure it's not spoiled like. I guess a couple of swigs of grog ain't gonna hurt no one. That's strong grog. <laughs> Can't hold your booze, you. Wow, it acted faster than I thought.
I can't fault Elizabeth's taste in plants. They're beautiful. I don't have time to take cuttings. <laughs> it's an old dinner bell. That's a stupid idea. Oh, these statues are ugly. I don't have any need for a statue. They say drinking is bad for you, but it turned out pretty good for me. I know they stink, but I'd better search them. They don't have Briscoe's key on them. Senor Briscoe? Yes, Captain? They say drinking is bad for you, but it turned out pretty good for me. They don't have Briscoe's key on them. This tree is hollow. There's a bird egg in here, but no sign of a bird. I'm not sure this is a good idea. Isn't that name a little pretentious? You think so? Elizabeth says there's no reason to be ashamed of our wealth and success. Oh, I see. It was her idea. Oh, the size and quality of this mansion is clear proof of Briscoe's success. I hope I can afford such a nice place for Papa in his old age. The doormat has the word welcome on it. The other side has go to hell on it. Some salesman's idea of a joke. I don't need this kind of souvenir. It's locked. I think I heard a noise inside. It's locked. Senor Briscoe? Yes, Captain? Do you have a key to the door? I told you earlier, Simpkins took my keys. What about a spare key? Elizabeth hid a few because I was always losing mine. She also gave spare keys to some of our friends. Which friends? I don't know. I'll take a look around. There's no spare key under here. There's no spare key in here. Isn't that name a little pretentious? You think so? Elizabeth says there's no reason to be ashamed of our wealth and success. Oh, I see. It was her idea. There's no sign of a spare key here. There's no spare key hidden here. There's no spare key here.